Welcome to this demo. Uh, we are going to install Nginx in this demo. So to start off, we need a machine. And I will install this on Ubuntu server 1604. So I will launch a new instance. We have some new flavors here uh, that you can use if you want to save uh, your resources. So we have uh, one CPU, 500 megabyte RAM and a two gigabyte hard disk. This will work for most of your smaller instances if you don't need that much disk space. And we will choose an image. And the default security group. I won't enable SSH since I will use my jump machine, this Grandmaster, to connect to it. And the network. And that's it. We will need a um, public IP if we want to access this machine. Oh, we seem to have some problem. Okay, the disk was too small for that one. We will use the five gigabyte instead. I'm just going to delete this instance. I think it worked on um, Ubuntu server 1404. So we can go to our jump machine. Okay, so we got an IP. since we have a new session uh, SSH add we need to start agent Should be able to connect to the machine. Good. The first thing with the new machine uh, is that we need to do the sudo get update. We should of this run uh, upgrade also. Uh, but I won't do that now since it will take some time. And after that, we can install Nginx with sudo apt-get install Nginx. Uh, 
Uh, when this is done, we should always enable the, the firewall uh, before we let any traffic in. Uh, I didn't do that with the DNS, but you should do that the same uh, with the DNS servers. So sudo uh, ufv. Uh, we can check the status. Status. I see that it's inactive. you will get these messages also and as you might remember it's because of our host file that hasn't been updated with this add name so we can do that so we don't get that message anymore as you see here we have no static mapping for our uh, IP address which was yeah we have it so we will map our local name uh, like that now we won't see these messages again since it can resolve this address uh, but back to the firewall uh, UFV have a good command called app list which will show us our the servers that are running the services that are running in this server so we know which one we probably want to uh, enable uh, through the firewall so sudo UFV app list and here we see that we have nginx and ssh we need to add SSH also through the firewall uh, otherwise we will lose the connection to the machine so we will you can add these with sudo ufv allow and then the name So if we had installed a bind like we did there in a previous demo, you will with this command probably see bind instead of uh, an index. But uh, first we will allow uh, open SSH and then we'll add it. Um, a good point to make here is that you shouldn't enable the firewall before you have included all the, the, the rules because then if we enable the firewall first then we will lose the SSH uh, connection to the machine so add the, the rules first uh, and as you see we have three different kind of application lists here uh, full HTTP and HTTPS uh, the full will allow both um, the port 80 and port 443 which is encrypted and this specific is if you only need it to allow uh, port 80 and this is for 443 we can use the full here and as you see we have a space in between if we just would have type the ufv command allow would think that it's two separate rules one that's called engine x and one that is called full so that won't work we need to put this into quotes and then before we can check the status thought i did that before and it's still inactive so uh, we need to uh, enable the, the server And here it says that if we are in the SSH connection, this might disconnect us. But since we have added the rule, it shouldn't be a problem. So now it's active and will be enabled when the system starts up also. And here we see which rules we have allowed through the firewall. 
so we can check the nginx server with system uh, d system d uh, ctl and here we see that it's up and running when it started five minutes ago and the different processes that are running so if we want to we could check the server but we don't have any way to uh, connect to it uh, we don't have any uh, public IP address yet so we will add a floating IP I seem to have some that are it's not used. I will use that one. But I will not be able to go to this address yet because I haven't allowed any traffic in through our OpenStack. So we need a security group for the web. So I will create a group for web servers. And I will, oi, sorry. I will allow HTTP and HTTPS. And then I will assign this to my instance. And now when I go to this address, I get the welcome page for Nginx that has been installed. So how do we control the server? Uh, we have some commands. I previously used this one to see the status. I can use it also to stop it. And I just change the status to stop. need to be sudo to do that sorry now the server should be stopped and as you can see I can't uh, the server isn't running anymore and of course you can start it again like that and we're up and running again if you made some changes and just want to make a restart and now it has shut down the server and started it again uh, <coughs> and in X also has a command that is reload which will reload the configuration and that's much faster than just uh, making a restart so that's probably the one that you should use ending um, x has a couple of different folders and directories that you need to be aware of um, if we go to var www html here is the default uh, site as you can see this information here is the one that is presented on the site um, so here you can have your different uh, 
web page content. Uh, server configuration, on the other hand, is in etc uh, and nginx. Have I have different configuration files. Uh, the main configuration file is the uh, nginx conf. And you should read about the configuration on the documentation on nginx, how you should set that up. Uh, I will have a demo on uh, the different um, um, server blocks, that's virtual servers, how you can manage and have multiple uh, sites on one uh, instance, um, but that is in, uh, another demo. Uh, the server blocks will be in Uh, engine X, so I think I mean that uh, C site available. Now we have the, just the default, and we have some configuration for that in uh, site enable. I think. Yeah. Yep. We have the default. Uh, so where does the log logs go? Well, we have them in var logs and Unix. Here we have an access log and an error log. It was see all the different connections that has been made. And we'll have some more. And we'll have the errors in error. So that's it for this demo on how to install an NX and getting started. And we'll have some more demos uh, about server blocks.